start or whatever. Okay, it's going. Okay. Hey guys, I'm here at the Cincinnati Zoo, and uh, today we're going to talk about habitats and niches. Okay. Um, as you can see, uh, my friend behind me, we got the Asian elephant, and uh, part of its uh, habitat is essentially where it lives. Okay. This whole thing is its habitat. Uh, the general area where it lives is its habitat. Um, its niche, though, is essentially its role within the ecosystem, and that can include a lot of different things. That can include uh, the resources that it uses, so the water that it's drinking, the plants that it eats. Uh, it can also include what eats it. Okay, so there's also abiotic factors that can be part of the niche as well. So, uh, you know, resources like uh, minerals or something like that within the ecosystem of the soil. Uh, it can include uh, parasites. It can include all sorts of things that you do with any ecosystem and that the ecosystem gets out of you. So you can see this mountain lion here. Uh, this is his whole habitat. Okay. And uh, that would be where he lives. Now, his niche, however, is uh, he's a top predator, so he's going to try to keep the other uh, populations in check, uh, things like small mammals, uh, you know, rodents, stuff like that. Here's another top predator, the uh, white Bengal tiger, absolutely magnificent animal. He has a really cool habitat here too. Probably going, probably going to take a nap. Okay, so at the beginning of the movie I said we were going to talk about the difference between a habitat and a niche, okay? So just so we can kind of write this down, a habitat would be the place where an organism lives, okay? Uh, Yellowstone National Park, your backyard, uh, the pool inside of like a cave, okay? And it depends on the species, it's going to depend on the size. For example, uh, a blue whale can live in huge expanses of uh, the ocean, okay? Uh, blue whales migrate from the Arctic all the way to the Bahamas in a single year, okay? Their habitat's very big. Uh, but if you're talking about something like a, uh, you know, an insect, it could be something a lot smaller. So, uh, whereas a niche is the, all the abiotic and biotic factors that the species needs to live and how it obtains it, okay? The best way to think of it, of a niche, is its job, its, its role with an ecosystem, okay? So that can be uh, a lot of different things. It can be the water that an organism needs to survive or to grow. Or if it's a, a case of a plant, it could be how much sunlight uh, it needs. So, uh, or we're talking about biotic factors. It could be uh, parasites. It could be what eats it, uh, what it eats, how it eats it, okay? Uh, we can even talk about, you know, some larger things like what it does for the ecosystem as a whole. For example, you could talk about uh, bacteria that live on the roots of certain types of plants, specifically uh, beans and uh, other things like that, like peanuts. But what the, that bacteria does, it fixes nitrogen and it puts it in a form that plants and animals can use. If it wasn't for that bacteria, the nitrogen wouldn't get into the ecosystem. So their job uh, in, within the ecosystem the, for the bacteria is to fix the nitrogen and provide the whole ecosystem with nitrogen. Okay? That's part of the reason why farmers rotate crops. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of crop rotation, but every few years, uh, farmers will change what they, gr what they grow within a field. That way, different nutrients are cycled within the soil. Okay? So if you can kind of see here, here's a, like a little Venn diagram of niches and habitats. Okay? Where here is your niche. You have all the things within a niche, which includes a habitat. Okay? Water, predators, climate, food, sunlight. Okay? how it gets those things, um, and how much of it it needs, okay? And then within an issue, you also have it, you can also talk about its habitat, okay? So, but that's important to know, you know, it's, it, when, when, it, when you're talking about the difference between a habitat and a niche, habitat is pretty simple, it's where you live. It's, uh, you know, all the places where you exist. But a niche, it's how you, it's not just uh, how you get your things, but how much of those things that you need, okay? as well as how much of those things you provide for your ecosystem, okay? Okay, so some other things we need to talk about with niches are resources. 
So a resource is something specific uh, an organism needs in order to survive. Okay? And these are all part of its niche. Now this doesn't talk about how it gets these things. Uh, that's definitely part of a niche, but resources are specific things that it needs, okay? Imagine you're going to a grocery store. I need flour, eggs, milk, and butter in order to make a cake. Well, similarly, these are resources that an animal needs in order to survive, okay? So, like, your resources for, you know, to make your cake might be those ingredients. These are the things in order for an animal to survive and move, and, and move on. So, uh, and it's not just animals, it's plants as well. So... For example, uh, if you're in a plant, you would need sunlight, you need water, uh, you need space, and you need uh, nutrients from the soil, and like nitrogen and phosphorus, that sort of thing. Uh, for an animal, you're going to need food and shelter, you're going to need territory, uh, you're going to need access to mates. So uh, those are all resources that you need. Uh, the thing is, though, there's only a certain amount of resources within an ecosystem, and so there's a uh, competition within the community, okay? Everyone's competing for all for the food and territory and space and shelter and all of these things. There's always competition, okay? And just like in athletics, competition brings the best out of animals, okay? Only the strongest ones are able to get these things. If not, they die and, and they go hungry. So, uh, like I said, there's always competition within a community for resources, okay? And it can be, be between different species. So, for example, a lion and a hyena are both competing for the same food, okay? They're fighting over it, uh, you know, and sometimes those fights get deadly between each other. Uh, or it could be between members of the same species, okay? You could imagine, uh, you know, two raccoons fighting over the same piece of, uh, you know, fruit or something like that. Or it could be fighting over the right to mate, okay? There's a reason why there's competitions with, uh, within species for the right to mate, because you want the you only want the ones with the best genes to move on to the uh, next generation. Okay. Now with this, when we talk about uh, competition between species, what we're really we, what we want to talk about is what's called the competitive exclusion principle. Okay. The competitive exclusion principle says that no two species can operate in the same niche. They cannot have the same exact same niche. Okay, somebody's got to do it a little bit different because someone's going to do it better. Okay, uh, this is a black-throated green warbler, and it wants to live in this tree. However, so does this bird, which is a Cape May warbler. The problem is they both can't occupy the exact same niche. So what happens is is that they would do what's called resource partitioning. One bird lives in one part of the tree while another bird lives, lives in a separate part of the tree. This way they both have a habitat and shelter and a space to live but they're not occupying the exact same niche. Oftentimes species will even have special adaptations specifically for uh, their resources. Okay, uh, some t There's examples of birds with different shaped beaks, they'll all be the same uh, within the same genus of birds, but due to resource partitioning, each bird eats a different type of uh, nut or, um, uh, you know, or something like that, and they're how, they'll have different beaks shaped for that specific fruit or, or, or nut or whatever they're eating. So while they might be very closely related in terms of their genetics, they've adapted to for their specific niche.